This is Scott the Fix-It Guy, and today we have a dishwasher that won't power up. Um, no response to any buttons, no lights. And my suspicion is maybe the fuse has blown, so I can't get any of the buttons to work. And I made sure it was plugged in, I made sure the plug had power. So I'm thinking maybe the little fuse that lives in the control area has blown. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out these Torx 15 screws around the perimeter and kind of keep track of these because there's um, two lengths. There's a longer type and a shorter type. And the longer type go near the top and the shorter type go on the sides. So you don't want to get them mixed up. It's pretty easy. So you just zip out those screws and that's going to allow you to take out the um, front part control panel and behind that is the little computer and with the computer or the controller there's a fuse that is really easy to change and sometimes it blows like the electrical components get <coughs> too hot and if they're too hot instead of a fire the fuse trips so now we've removed the control panel and this black box underneath it is the controller or the little microprocessor so we're going to remove the black box by depressing three little tabs. I'm using needle nose pliers to push the tab back. And then I'm going to lift up on the black box. I've got two in the right corner. And then I have one on the left side. Sometimes if you have a no power situation too, it can be a problem with the door lock. But um, this fuse blowing is pretty common, so I'm going to use my multi-tester to test for continuity. I'm going to put the multi-tester um, two leads on the two terminals of the fuse to see if I can hear the beep that would show that electrons can flow through the fuse, but I'm not getting any read out on my digital display and no beep so I know that the fuse is tripped and no longer works so I'm going to be replacing it. These fuses are resettable. I'm going to show you at the end of the video how to reset them if you don't have a replacement. It's best to put in a replacement but you can manually reset these fuses. So I'm just going to pull the terminals off of the old one. I'll test it one more time. So here's the new part. Show you the part number here. <clears throat> These are pretty cheap. Probably get them from Amazon around. 20 or $30 or reliable parts. Mm. So once you have the new fuse, you just push it into its little plastic housing and then you put the two electrical connectors back on. And now when you power it up, it'll, it'll have power again because the power can flow through the, to the controller. So we're putting the black box back on. It'll just click into place. It has those three term, three uh, tabs. And then we're going to put the controller back into the door assembly and just add those screws at the top. This will be a pretty quick repair for you and easy to do. If you find that the uh, fuse is, in, is working, it's intact, and there's still no power, it could be the door switch, which is less common, but also pretty easy to do and inexpensive. So we're just putting all those screws back in. So if you don't have a replacement fuse, basically banging the old fuse down hard against a hard surface like concrete or brick will often reset it. And what I did with this one today is I grabbed it with a pair of pliers and I hit it with my small hammer. And then I tested 
my continuity continuity tester and I found that it did have continuity so it actually did reset doesn't always work but I'd say about eight out of ten times about 80% of the time it'll work so we got it all together we close the door press the cycle start and it is working back to normal So here's a little video on how to do that reset. So we don't have any continuity at this point. We know it's not working. So I'm just holding it with a pair of pliers and then hitting it with my small hammer. But you could just bang it down against the, uh, the ground. It has to be something hard though, not like linoleum, but like concrete or brick. And that'll, <clears throat> again, 80% of the time it'll reset. And now I have continuity, so this fuse will work. Here's how you can do it, where you slam it down on the ground. You could even hold it in your hand, but using pliers I think works better because you can slam it down harder. You have to use a fair amount of force. So thanks so much for watching and please subscribe to our channel when you get a chance. Thanks again.